Hi everyone and welcome back to Twilight Princess HD. Last time I stopped, uh, a monkey stole my lantern and I wanted to start this dungeon, like a good portion of this dungeon, but because it took so long to get here, I only managed to reach the entrance. But now we're inside so we can actually start doing this dungeon and rescue the monkey once again. You have a knack for getting in trouble, buddy. I know all your friends are already in trouble, but you're the one who I had to rescue at least twice so far now. No, th three times, actually. Yeah, yeah. First, you probably want to get rid of the spiders. So the slingshot will be useful for a couple of more minutes, thanks to that. Actually, that might have been it. That might have been the last time we'll ever really use the slingshot. Because I'm pretty sure we get the bow in this dungeon. I don't know what the designers were thinking. Giving you the ability to attack from a distance with a slingshot, but immediately having that replaced with the bow by this, the, the item in this dungeon, because you get the bow in this dungeon. And no, there's no, there's not any of the, the slingshot that can do better than the bow, unfortunately. Finish. Also, you can see there's a chest right here. Uh, unfortunately, slingshot can be used for. These things, but not the chest. Unless you hit the chest itself. No, that does not work. Okay, I, I want this. Money's good. Even though we're gonna get a lot in this game. So the monkey keeps following me. What do you want? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, thanks for pointing that out to me. It's, it's In the 64 games, this was a lot more fun to like the torches, but for some reason Twilight Princess and probably the other games, it is not. And I saw that crack there. Hmm. There was a crack in there. I guess you could not bomb that wall. Never mind then. I mean I don't I don't even have bombs with me right now. So it's not like I could have done that. Oh also there's this creature right there. You guys see it? I guess I could have bombed that wall. Maybe, maybe. We'll we'll find out later. First, let's check what's inside this thing. The map. We're also gonna find a compass. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna follow you. Even now, the game is trying to be tutorially. That bridge does not look stable. Oh, please fall into the abyss. Or not. Yeah, yeah, I, you, thankfully you noticed in time. Also, that's the Gale boomerang. Actually, that is the, uh, the item of this uh, dungeon. I forgot about that. But I'm pretty sure we get the bow really, really early on despite that. So, yeah. Like, we saw all of this. We saw that we can't proceed. We, s we see the monkey telling us to go back here. And yet Minna has to butt in and say, No, we're, hey, we're look at what happened. Look what we can't do. Huh. I know people like Minna because she's got that sarcastic tone and is involved in the story quite a bit. And everyone hates Fi because Fi was not so great in uh, uh, Skyward Sword and Navy. Everyone hates her because she's kind of pointless. But... You can see that even Minda falls to the prey to the trap of the fact that uh, the Nintendo really wanted you to know what you were supposed to do, even after it showed you. Is there something up here? No, this is just for show. That's kind of too bad. There should have been something. Anyway. Now we're over here, and this thing. Yeah, I guess I'll sh be able to show what this thing does from here. Oh! What the hell? Uh, what? Come on. It's a bomb. That's what I wanted to show. What's so complex about that? Also, you had to hit it. Because. Ignore this. This thing. This is why. These two horrible monstrosities. Well, actually, there's only one, but we're gonna see a second one very soon. 
It... I cannot remember the guy's name, but... It looks very similar to one of his paintings. I'll probably put like a text on the screen that t says exactly what I'm talking about, but... Yeah, this thing looks very, very familiar. So we haven't seen her son yet, but I'm pretty sure when we when we start using her, we'll actually see her son, which is just as weird as her. And the worst part is, these things have story relevance. Or I guess that's a good thing, but no, to me it's not. It really, really is not. Okay. Really? Well, no, I don't have to. But, there is a spider right there that I want to get rid of. Oh, I already hit it? Huh, that was strange. Anyway, you guys see that there's those things right there you can climb onto? And I'll allow you to go over there in a sort of kind of shortcut -y way? Remember that. It's important. Oh, yeah, the spider. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's dead because it fell in the water. That's fun. I like it when the monsters fall prey to the hazards that normally only affect you. Cannot open this, monkey. Oh, but I can. Oh, well, no, those torches are already lit. Anyway, I could go over there, but it looks locked as well. So, let's go over here, you silly monkey. Actually, I don't think we can do anything here. Or no, we can't. Never mind. Hurry up. Gotta be quick. And go here for another key. From this chest. Right? Yeah, see? Not very complex. We solved our first puzzle by just going the one directions we could go. Um... Yeah, when we, once we get the boomerang, we'll be able to switch this area up. We mm, we cannot get droppable hearts, but can we get droppable fairies? Maybe. I, I really don't like how little hearts I have right now. If there's one thing Skyro Sword really did well, it's starting you with six hearts instead of three. Open the door. Please. You, you, you cannot waste your keys. Ever. Like, you might do something out of order by using your keys on a different door, but there's absolutely no way you can waste them. Anyway, yeah, that's why the monkey was leading us to all the way over here. All of our friends are already trapped. A lot of them. You know, in case the game thought you were going to do something funny, because you're about to do a mini boss. I best save just in case. Because I'm pretty sure one hit is going to kill me right now. Don't forget, I'm being dealt four times normal damage. You know what? I'll, I'll drink my potion. Play it really, really safe. It's just that now I don't have any more potions. Come on. Fall down. There. I know it's awkward, but I rescued you. Oh man, I, I, I used my potions for these guys? Come on. What a waste. They're not even mini boss level of difficult. Also, there's a chest right there. I'm a hero by killing things. Hooray. I mean, let's be fair to myself and to Nintendo. What I really did is rescue the monkey. Then I had to defend the monkeys from those creatures. You know, yeah, we rescued our friend, but she's got a ton more to rescue, and we have to rescue all of them if we want to reach the final boss. And we need their help to be able to do stuff like this. This does not really make sense, to be honest, but it is kind of cool. Give me a key, but cool. And every time I see vines on the wall, I want to climb up, but I'm pretty sure there is nothing up here. See? That's lame. Why would you... Ugh. Um, I want to check out this area. What is this? I mean, it's a big chest, so obviously we're going to have to 
do something there eventually, but... Oh yeah, because... Yeah, those things up there. You guys see him? Yeah. So I guess that shortcut is useless? Maybe. Now I'm in the water, even though I didn't mean to be. That's fine. I like taking a dip. Go back up through here. Uh, wait, what am I doing? I'm supposed to go back. Right here. Yeah, the monkeys are always going to be behind you. There's no way you can lose them. Because they're important, you know. You need them to be able to finish this dungeon. <sighs> if only they could help me get that chest up here. But I'm going to need a boomerang to be able to get rid of those. Uh, can I... Come on. Hmm. No, I'm going to need to use the boomerang. By using the boomerang, I'll be able to get rid, rid of this. And then I'll be able to use the bomb down there to break open this wall down there. You know? Because that, that's what I should have done from the very beginning, but I forgot. Burn, baby, burn. Not a... Find wall that doesn't lead to anywhere. It's all for immersion, and you can interact with it, but there's no point to it. Uh, there was a game. There's a game that it's gonna come out, or did come out already, called No Man's Sky. It's all about interacting with planets from on a galactical scale and stuff like that. But is there a point to it besides surviving and having fun? Not sure. This thing is still dangerous. It can still attack you. Careful. Also, there's a thing right here. You cannot defeat it as it is. As long as you pre keep, keep pressing the attack button, you're pretty safe. But it's still dangerous for me to do stuff right now. It's still dangerous. Oh, come on! I have to attack it first. Uh, you silly thing! Damn it. it takes quite a while for it to explode. Uh, there's no way for me to restore my health now. Oh, that took way too long. Come on. Let's check out over here. See, there's a reason to climb these vines, at least. Oh, I can do it from here. Yeah, that's much more convenient. Boom. Did I really have to watch this cutscene? I guess so. The first time it's fine. It's just that every other time I'm going to have to watch it, you know? Um, yeah. Okay, I know where to do it. Oh, man, that... Hmm. Well, I should be able to do it. the hell? How did it get stuck up there? Well, whatever the case. Yeah, there's one over there. That's the one I'm supposed to use. And I messed up and I'm dead. Great. Eaten by a plant. Game over. <laughs> Clipping through the wood. That's fine. Game over. I'm being dealt four times normal damage. Retry, and I have to use my Gandalf and Vivio once again. See, I started back right over here. Same room. There's no real danger to getting a game over in this game. It's not like you have to start the entire game over, because otherwise it would be such a slog to play through. Hearts are blue again, and... Yeah, actually, it does respawn to monsters, but not this one right here. You see, you see that? Huh. Anyway. Yeah, you have to enter that area from the other side. That's how I'm going to be able to destroy that other monster. What is over here, however? Um, this must be bombable. Oh, yeah, okay, right here. Take out this spider. And this spider. See, you can latch on to these vines right here. But for some reason, Link cannot latch on to the... Thing right down here. That's what I was trying to do last time. Okay, you. 
Get thrown down there. Boom! I have to watch the cutscene again. Hmm. Cool, piece of heart. I wonder if I had gotten it while I still had uh, only one heart left, if I it would have restored all of it. Hmm. Probably not. It's It only restores it when you get it in an extra heart container. Anyway, I need to use one of those bombs to get rid of this thing right here. The most logical one would be this one, I guess. Um, yeah, I should have just enough time. Except, not really. <laughs> hmm. Well, let's go through this door. We're not going to think about that blocked wall for the time being. No, oh, another monkey. And a mini boss. Yep. Mini boss. It's a plant. What do you know? Because it's a force temple, so it, it, obviously it has to be a plant. Um. I haven't played this game in a long time, so I don't remember how I'm supposed to destroy this thing, by the way. I'm supposed to attack this thing's thing. Yep. Come on. I can poke you from where I am. Poke! Oop, better not do that. Not very effective. See? Not effective at all. Not unless you like aim manually, but good luck doing that. Here we go. There, just takes a couple of hits, but there's still this thing left. However, we can see let's see there's a bomb thing right over here, so poke. Slash, throw, miss the throw. <laughs> Sorry about that. To be quite utterly, utterly frank, I don't know why they didn't just give us bombs if they were going to make us use them this early on. In the first Legend of Zelda, you had immediate access to the bombs. Even though you didn't start with them. I assume Breath of the Wild uh, will do something like that. You'll have immediate access to a lot of weapons. And not be weirdly limited with them in a dumb way. Although I do expect that to happen, even that new game. So I call this a mini boss, but I'm not sure if that was really a mini boss, really. The actual mini boss is gonna be that monkey we saw earlier. The evil looking one, even though it's not actually evil. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Blowing up this wall, it's gonna happen a bit later. Now what's up here? Are they gonna change? They should. Just need to wait for the wind again. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, okay, no, I'm not gonna be able to go through here. Okay, so this is a dead end for now. Monkey number three. Okay, now where do I bring them? Hmm. Yep, 
Yeah, right over here, right? Because they'll... No, they can't. Hmm. Well, I have to be careful with my seeds. I'm running out. <laughs> Never mind. I'm not running out anymore. <laughs> Ah, oh, that hurt. That hurt a lot. What? Oh, whatever. So I should be careful when I just walk up to these things. Yeah, there's an area down there. Don't, don't try to jump down there. You're just gonna... The game will just fade to black. Mm-hmm. That's where I was supposed to go. Oh no, it's just a stamp. This is the first time I've seen something like this. It's new for the HD version. That's the letter A in Helion, I guess. That's, that's fine, I guess. Don't care much about translating the Helion language. But it, it does exist. Oh wait, if I recall... Yeah, you can break this bridge yourself. And that explains why there's this passage right up there. Okay. Don't know why you would break that bridge yourself, but you can. I'm so dumb, I'm so dumb, 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 dumb. I completely forgot that you could jump while holding on to those things. <laughs> I was wondering for a good 10 minutes figure, trying to figure out what I was supposed to do there because I thought I for forgot to get a chest, but no, I just had to jump while holding on to that thing. Figures. Anyway, whatever the case, moving forward, I have to rescue this other monkey. I want to continue with this dungeon. I'm definitely gonna, not going to finish it in this video, by the way. It just takes too long. It's not like the 2D the Legend of Zelda's where the dungeons could be finished really, really quickly. Here, there's lots of presentation. There's lots of moving around. It's 3D. Very different. If this was Majora's Mask, I could probably do it in one video. Uh, unless it was like the Stone Tower Temple, or even the Great Bay Temple. Anyway, you gotta be careful around here, but it's fairly obvious what you need to avoid. You know? There's a bunch of monsters everywhere, and they're looking around trying to trap you, but they're fairly easy to avoid. Um, hmm. I need to climb here, I guess. In case some of you are wondering why I'm playing kind of dumbly, it's because it's been a very, very long time since I've played... Twilight Princess HD. Yay, rupees! Contrary to popular belief, they actually are pretty useful. Oh, I, I see what I have to do. One. Two. Just climb up all the way over here. Be careful of the Skulltula. Whatever it's called. Hi. Poke, poke, poke. Finishing blow. So complex. You're the fourth monkey I had to rescue. I'm pretty sure there's at least five more I have to help. Eh, uh, yeah. Besides this one right here, you can just walk straight ahead. Okay, so finally back here. You have four monkeys. They're all going to start automatically going over here. Because they want to bring you across to the big monkey. The one with the gale boomerang. Two. Three. Uh, you know, it's a good thing 
I won't screw up doing this. Imagine if this was you in real life. Uh, kind of. How do you go into first person? Like this. Imagine this was you in real life. You had to grab onto these monkeys to cr cross this gap. Imagine Twilight Princess HD in virtual reality. Yeah, this would be scary. Of course, in reality, reality, this would not be a bottomless abyss. There would be an end to it. And that's so much scarier. Anyway, I'm going to stop this video after I finish the mini boss, which should be right over here. Yep. Of course. Locked doors. Even in wooden areas, those exist. Yeah, yell boomerang, but it's evil because it's in the hands of this evil monkey! Oh no, I have to fight those things that never actually managed to hurt me. How horrifying! Also, ass jokes. Those are fun. So, what you need to do is fairly obvious. Just keep following this monkey around. Ow. And don't get instantly killed! Holy crap! I'm a little surprised. So, I guess originally in the original game and this guy dealt one entire heart of damage? Huh. Well, round two, buddy. Right outside of his dungeon. So, huh. I'm kind of surprised, but this mini boss, I have to avoid getting hit by him. No, I'm... Oh, come on, how do I... Yeah, this button twice. Don't want to watch the cutscene every time. Come on, throw your boomerang. Because last time it was quite a bit of damage against me. Damn it, didn't do anything. Come on! Ah, I didn't get him. What if I use my seeds? Not very effective, unfortunately. What do you have for me, Vinna? Yeah, yeah. So I have to wait until he's da dancing if I want to get him to fall. Yay! Because, yeah, the Gale Boomerang hits him. That makes sense. Oh, come on! I can't believe I let that planting hit me. That's fine though, it didn't kill me instantly, and that's so much more important. Throw your boomerang, buddy. I want to finish this video. Boom. Cry for me, cry in pain. Uh, unfortunately, Twilight Princess HD, or Twilight Princess in general really, has this problem where, damn it, it has this problem where all of the bosses work in a sequential basis where as soon as their weak point is exposed, all you have to do is uh, attack them until a certain point, and in which case it's over. You're done with the boss. Ow, come on. I'm trying to hit him. See? I attacked its weak point three times in a row and... Well, three times, and that's all I needed to do in order to actually beat the boss. That's gonna be the same for virtually every boss and mini boss in this game. That's why everyone lo loves the Dark Nuts, because they're different. Anyway, yeah, you were evil being possessed by that bug thing. Now you're good, but guilty, so go away until you'll help me later, I believe. Yeah, it does help me later. Anyway, Gale Boomerang. We'll see what it does. What, what? 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 I don't remember this. Fair of winds? What is this bullshit? There's no point to this. It's just a magical boomerang. You don't have to give it character. Ugh. Like, I'm sure there's a fanfic about it, but come on. It's a magic boomerang. That's all you need to know. Such pointless crap. Whatever. Getting out of this room. We're using this. 
Gotta aim at this thing to make it work. Uh, Try to do this again. Oh, ZR to lock. Okay. Yay! Wait, what? D do I have to do it twice? Yay! I am good at aiming. Okay, well, no, that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed this and hope you all have a really nice day. Next time, the rest of the Forest Temple. Bye-bye!